so we will start the next chapter that is so we will start the next chapter that is called conic sections it is chapter number 11 okay so all these fall under a branch of coordinate geometry So what was the previous chapter that we learned? We learned straight lines, right? So in straight lines, what was our objective? So what were we mainly concentrating in the chapter straight lines was? So it is like, there'll be certain conditions given. I will not say points are given. There'll be certain conditions given for which we were expected to write the equation of a straight line in all such scenarios, right? So that also falls under a branch of coordinate geometry. The next important branch that we have, the topic that we have under coordinate geometry is conic sections. The question is, what do we mean by conic? So conic is a term derived from where? Right? So it's a cone. Okay. So let's see if you have a cone. Okay. You have a right circular cone. So depending on where you cut the cone, okay, you take a plane, plane in the sense, let's say you're taking a sheet like this. So the sheet, depending on the way you cut uh, using the sheet, there are different parts that come out of the conic section. See what they are going to have. So you have a plane, right? You're able to see the blue color portion. Yeah. Right? So when you cut the blue color portion, when you take the blue color portion and keep it like this, for example, you have a cone like this. Okay. So if you take a plane and cut it like this, once you cut it, what is it you're going to get? You're going to get a smaller cone. Now the question is, when I see from the top, what shape are you able to see? What is the shape that you will be able to see for the cone when you see from the top for this diagram? What is the base of the cone face? Circular. It's a circle. Okay. So, circle is one of the parts of the cone. So, that is also a section of cone. Similarly, if you take the plane and cut it like this, then the shape that you will be able to see will be something like this. Okay. So, all these things I will discuss later. So, the, the, you would have seen this kind of a shape. You would have seen this kind of a shape, right? So this shape is called as a parabola, right? So there are different parts that can be generated from a cone out of which the first one is called as a circle. Then we have ellipse, then we have parabola and the conic. So like the previous chapter, the previous chapter, what was our objective? Our objective was to write the equation of a straight line. In this chapter, our objective is to write the equation of all these conics. Okay. Where we will see, we'll be seeing each conic in each exercise. And the first conic part, that conic section that we are going to discuss is called as a circle. Okay. Don't go through the textbook. I will give you a simpler way of explanation. So see. You're able to see the diagram. So when you cut the plane, this portion is a circle. When you cut the plane with slightly inclined, in a slightly inclined way, then you get a shape called as ellipse. If you cut from one of the edges, the shape that you get is a parabola. If you cut it along two sides, because it's a double-headed cone. Okay. When you cut it along this side, then the shape you get is called as a hyperbola. 
so as i told you first we are going to discuss about sub okay now listen so write down the heading as conic sections write down the heading as chapter 11 and conic sections so the conic section the first part that we are going to see is circles so before we start anything first let's look at the definition of circle you all know how to draw a circle right so based on the way you draw a circle tell me how are you going to define a circle So listen, I'm defining it like this. It is a shape obtained by all points, okay, which are equidistant from a fixed point. And the fixed point is called as the center. can i say it like this so the shape obtained by all points which are equidistant from a fixed point called as a center is what is called as a circle and what is that equal distance called as radius equal distance is called as radius that's it so as simple as that that's it so what we are going to do is observe so we saw what is the definition of Now, when you draw a circle, okay. When you draw a circle, you are going to have a point called as the center. Right. So, if suppose the center had been origin, that is, a circle is drawn with the center exactly at the origin that is the midpoint uh, the, the point of intersection of the coordinate axis then how are we going to define the equation for it is the question because it's not the definition that is important i have told you you need to write the equation of those circles right observe so if i take any point on the circle as x comma y if i take p x comma y where x comma y is some general point okay if this is o then what is this distance op called as radius radius so op is radius means can i say op is equal to r mathematical op is the notation r is the distance okay So, what is the distance between two points? This so, what is the distance between two points? Root of x two minus x one the whole square plus y two minus y one the whole square. If this is equal to r, then when you square on both the sides, you will get x square plus y square is equal to r square. This x square plus y square is equal to r square is what is called as equation of circle with center as origin. Okay. Did you guys understand till this step? Yes. Please make a note of it.
let me know once you're done done sir okay now we will do some examples based on this just a moment I have a doubt. Yeah, tell me. The diagram. O P you wrote something also. What is that? O P is the distance. No, sir. O P you wrote some point, some name you gave O P. I didn't say. I, I just I just told it's a notation. That's all. O P is equal to R is what I wrote. Okay. What do they say? No, yes, sir. Above P, that. Did your doubt get cleared? No, sir. Could you just show the diagram once? Oh, this ah, one. Above no? P, sir. Yes, sir. Ah. Right. A general point. Okay, sir. General point means that x comma y can be anything, anything on that circle. That is. Understood, sir. Yeah. Okay. See, find the equation of cent uh, circle with center as origin and radius r. So directly you can write it x square plus y square is equal to r square. Okay. First one is very very simple. Okay. Now see. Second is equation of uh, circle with center h comma k. Okay. Equation of circle with center h comma k, where h comma k is not zero comma zero now. So you guys tell me how are we supposed to proceed? Again, I'm considering a circle. So tell me the steps. So this point is zero comma zero. If this point is, I'm oh, sorry. The center is, let's say, C, H comma K. And again, if I take the radius as R. Okay, now you guys tell me what are we supposed to do? We know that CP is equal to R, where P is the general point. So what is CP? Root of x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square is equal to R. Accepted? Yes, sir. Now, squaring on both sides, we get x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square is equal to R square. So this is the equation of circle. With any other point other than origin as the center, so it is x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square is equal to r square. So if in this equation you put h comma k as zero comma zero, then you will get the above equation. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, sir. So, I'm solving the next problem. So, example two. What are they asking? Find the equation of circle with the center as minus three comma two and radius four. Solution. Let the general point be p x comma y. Given c is minus three comma two and r is equal to four, so we know that c p is equal to r. What is c p root of x minus of minus three the whole square plus y minus two the whole square is equal to four. 
So squaring on both the sides, x plus 3 the whole square plus y minus 2 the whole square is equal to 16. Okay. So this will be the required equation of circle. Clear guys? Now, now what we can do is, see either you can leave the answer like this or you can just expand and write it. That is x square plus 9 plus 6x plus y square plus 4 minus 4y is equal to 16. Okay, then what will you get? x square plus y square plus 6x six six minus 4y plus 9 plus 4, 13. 13 minus 16 is minus 3. So that is x square plus y square plus 6x six six minus 4y minus 3 is equal to 0. You can either write it in this form or this form. Okay. So from this one important point I would like to mention is if I ask you what is the general equation of a straight line, what will you say? General equation of a straight line is ax plus by plus c is equal to c equal to that is a mathematical expression. But can I state it like this? When I talk about a straight line, can I say a linear equation in two variables? I'm repeating. A linear equation in two variables is a straight line. In a similar way, what, is, what can I say about a cir circle? Circle is a second degree equation. I'm repeating it. Circle is a second degree equation in what? In how many variables? Look at the equation, you know how many variables are there. Two variables. So circle is a second degree equation in two variables. Okay. So from this, I'm going to take the concept to, a, to the next step. See. So just like how we wrote AX plus BY plus C is equal to zero as the general equation of any straight line. See what I'm going to do is general equation of circle Okay, so before I write the general equation, let me expand the above expression and show it to you. So if I expand the above equation, x square plus h square minus 2xh plus y square plus k square minus 2yk is equal to r square. Right. Now, I'm collecting all the second degree terms, x square plus y square minus 2hx minus 2ky plus h square plus k square minus r square is equal to 0. Can I write it like this, guys? So, this is a very big expression to remember. So, I would suggest you to remember this. I have expanded this only to show you the concept. So, from equation star we can conclude that the general equation of a circle is ax square plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0, where a very, very, very important point to be noted is a is equal to b. So, it implies ax square plus ay square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. So this will be the general equation of a circle. Okay. 
Is that clear? Yes, sir. Good. Sir, could you show it again? Yeah, I'll, I'll show that. Just give me a minute. Okay. Where and radius is equal to root of h square plus p square minus c. I will prove the central. So if ax square plus ay square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 is given to you. So till now, if we, uh, see, we did two problems, no? In those two problems, if you observe, they would have given the center and the radius and asked you to find the equation of circle. Sometimes what they will do is they will do the reverse. That is, they'll give you the equation of circle. They'll ask you to find what is the center and radius of that particular circle. So how you are supposed to do is this way. Now I'm going to prove why it is minus g by n minus f by n. Okay. Concentrate. Listen. Proof. General equation of a circle is ax square plus ay square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. If the general equation is represented for a circle, the general equation is represented for a circle with center as origin, sorry, center as h comma k and radius r, then the equation will be, so what is the equation of circle with the center as h comma k and radius r? That is this big expression. So what is it? x square plus y square minus 2hx minus 2ky plus h square plus k square minus c minus r square. Sorry. Are you guys clear? So what I did is I wrote the general equation. Okay. Then I wrote the equation of a specific circle. And the specific circle will have the center as h comma k and the radius as r. So, if the general equation is represented for the specific circle, then can I say equation 1 and 2 are same. Okay. So, if equation 1 and 2 are same, then observe. I, I will write like this. Equation 1 and 2 represent same circle. I can put it like this. They represent same circle. So what I'm going to do is from equation 1, can I write x square plus y square plus 2g by a into x plus 2f by a into y plus c by a is equal to 0. Did you guys understand what I did? Can you explain, sir? Which step? And the late, the last one which you did right now. Okay. So what I did is I took out. You took a common, sir. That's it. Okay, so sir. I I this. Okay, I took out a common. That's it. So when after I've taken A out, comparing second equation and third equation, 
we get minus 2h is equal to 2g by a accepted similarly minus 2k will be equal to 2f by a similarly h square plus k square minus r square will be equal to c by a any doubt guys so what it is here it is x square see look at the way i am doing the comparison here it is x square here also it is x square here it is y square here also it is y square it is 2h 2g by a but here there is a minus here there is a plus so that is why i wrote minus 2h is equal to 2g by a similarly here it is minus here it is plus 2k is a coefficient of y 2f by a is a coefficient of y so i wrote that then h square plus k square minus r square and here it is plus c by a any doubt no which implies so from this i can conclude h is equal to minus g by a k is equal to minus f by a so r will be equal to root of h square plus k square minus c by a so one small correction is minus c divided by a okay so i hope this step is clear Is it clear? Yes, sir. No, sir. Okay. Every time you need not sit and do all these things. All these things I gave only for you to understand why it is happening. So when a problem is given to you, how how you are going to solve this? For example. X square plus y square plus five x. Plus ten y plus six is equal to zero. This represents a circle because the coefficient of x square and y square is the same. Okay. Now what they will ask is find the center and radius of above circle. Okay. So what is the center, guys? Center is observe. Always put a minus sign. I am telling you the way to write it. Because what is the center? Minus g by a. So every time you have to compare it with the general equation and then write it. So put a minus sign for x and y. Write the coefficient of x. Write the coefficient of y, and divide with. Did you guys understand? So minus five by two comma minus five is the center of the circle. Any doubt, guys? Not that. Similarly, the radius will be square root of. square of this value plus square of this value that is minus 5 by 2 the whole square plus minus 5 the whole square minus the constant here the constant is plus 6 minus 6 so root of 25 by 4 plus 25 minus 6 how much will it be root of 25 by 4 plus 19 how much ever is the value that is going to be the radius of the circle Right. So please make a note of this. Sir, could you explain the center one again, sir? How you got the center? Center is C. If I compare this equation with a x square plus a y square plus two g x plus two f y plus c is equal to zero. Okay. Yes, sir. Then what is the center? Minus g by a, no. So, two g is how much five? Then g will be five by two. A is one. Okay. 
So the, I directly told you the way to write. It's 2G by A, no, sir. Yeah. And how minus sign came, sir? See. Actually, it is minus G by A. Where is it? I told you, no, center is minus G by A. Okay, sir. Now I understood completely. Then, now I'll give you another question. You people find out and tell me. 2x square plus 2y square plus. 6 plus 8 by plus 5 equal. Find the center and radius of this circle. So center is 3 by uh, 3 comma 4. No, no. Is it minus no. 3 comma minus 4? It is minus 3 comma minus 4. You missed a minus. I told you know, always put a minus. Minus of coefficient of x divided by a. Okay, sir. Okay. Then what about the radius? Root of minus 3 square plus minus 4 square minus the constant. So, root of 3 square plus 2 square is root of 25 minus 5. So, root 20, answer will be 2 root 5. Clear? Yes. So, with this, we are ready to do few more problems. Awesome. Solution. Find the center and radius of the circle. Center is minus g by a minus f by a. So minus of g is how much? Yes. Minus. Don't forget the 2. Okay, what about the radius? So this will be minus 4, comma minus 5. Okay, what is the radius? Root of minus 4 square plus minus 5 square plus 8. Root 33. Right? Sir, let's say it how did it become minus 8? Where? Uh, See, center. No, center is always minus. Okay. When you're when a circle is equation is given, when you're writing the center, put a minus, comma, minus. Okay. Write the coefficient of x, coefficient of y, and divide it with 2. By 2 is common everywhere. If suppose the question had the coefficient of x square and y square other than 1. The coefficient of x square and y square is anything other than 1. Then you first divide the overall equation with that a. For example, if the same question had been 2x square plus 2y square plus 8x plus 10y minus 8 is equal to 0. First divide the equation with 2. Make sure that the coefficient of x square and y square is 1. So x square plus y square plus 4x plus 5y minus 4 is equal to 0. 
No, sir. Now, what I had a doubt in the radius. Should it be 16 plus 25 plus 8, sir? No, no, no. It is minus C. C is minus 8. Oh, here, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Should be plus 8. No? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I thought you asked the concept. Concept should be. But anyways, are you clear with this thing? Ah, yes, sir. I'm clear with that. So what will be the center for this? It will be minus 2, comma, minus 5. five, five. five. Okay. So this one I will explain after some time. Let's do some simple problems. So in, e uh, in each of the following exercises, 1 to 5, find the equation of circle with center as origin and radius as 2. Do it fast. So h comma k is zero comma two, r is equal to two. X minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square is r square. So x square plus y square plus four. So x square plus y square minus four y is equal. Okay. So you guys do it with the center minus two comma three and radius four. Do it fast. How much is the answer? Uh, it's x square plus y square plus 4x minus 6y minus 3. That's right. Center as 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2. See, I think you all these problems you can do it as homework. Let's not waste time here. Okay, this problem alone you can do. Yes. Okay. Next. In each of the following exercises 6 to 9, find the center and radius of the circle. So, solution is comparing with x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square is equal to r square. So, minus h is equal to 5 and minus k is equal to 3. And radius is 36 under root. So what will be the value of h? Minus 5 
k will be minus 3 the radius will be 6 so center will be how much minus 5 comma minus 3 and radius will be 6 did you guys understand what i did so one important point to be noted here is if you write x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square is equal to r square okay if you write it in this form then the center is h comma k whereas if you write it in the general form that is a bigger expansion then it is minus h comma minus k that is minus g by a comma minus f by a that time minus will come so here don't put a minus i hope you understood why i put this minus here why did i put that minus sign i compared this thing and this thing so if x minus h is equal to x plus 5 x and x will get cancelled minus h is equal to 5 that is why i got now tell me what is the answer for seventh one minus of minus 4 by 2 comma minus of minus 8 by 2 then what about the radius root of 2 square plus 4 square minus of minus 45 root 45 how much root 63 no so oh, 16 na so root 75 so root 75 is 5 root 3 सेंटर रेडियस इज रूट ऑफ फोर स्क्वायर प्लस माइनस फाइव स्क्वायर माइनस ऑफ माइनस ट्वेल्व So that will be root of sixteen plus twenty five plus twelve. So root of forty one plus twelve is root fifty three. Right. So ninth one, do it carefully. center is minus comma minus what is the coefficient of x minus 1 divided by how much should i put so i would suggest you a method see convert this equation as x square plus y square minus x by 2 is equal to 0 now what will be the center minus of minus half comma 0 that will be half comma 0 did you understand what i did so what will be the radius guys root of 1 by 2 square plus 0 square minus 0 Okay. Now we will do that example, and then we will do the problems. I was holding one example. No, what was it? Uh, find the equation of circle which passes through the point two comma minus two and three comma four, and whose center lies on x plus y is equal to. Okay. Look at the way I'm going to solve. Let the circle equation be x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square is equal to us. 
where h comma k is the center r is the radius okay so how many unknowns did i introduce so what are all the unknowns in the equation that i have written how many unknowns are there five not five x and y are not unknown they are variable x three sir there are three unknowns okay so remember any subject the number of unknowns is equal to the number of equations you need to solve so the number of equations can be formed from number of conditions so how many things are given to us two points are given and one condition is given so you can frame three equations and solve them you will get the answer look at what i am going to do since circle passes through 2 comma minus 2 correct it satisfies circle equation when it is satisfying what are you going to get see you can either solve like this or you can take the general equation also so it satisfies the circle equation so what can i write in the place of x i can write it as 2 so 2 minus h the whole square plus minus 2 minus k the whole square is equal to r square expand it 4 plus h square minus 4h plus 4 plus k square plus 4k is equal to r square so h square plus k square minus 4h plus 4k clear yes similarly what what can we say since circle passes through what is the other point through which it is passing 3 comma 4 Then I can write three minus h the whole square plus four minus k the whole square is equal to r square. So you will have nine plus h square minus six h plus sixteen plus k square minus eight k is equal to r square. So h square plus k square minus six h minus eight k plus twenty five minus r square is equal to zero. Did you understand what I did? Yes. Okay. What is the other condition that is given? So what is the other condition that is given? Center lies on the line x plus y is equal to two. Since h comma k lies on x plus y is equal to two implies h plus k minus two is zero. Did you understand what I did? I took h comma k and substituted in x plus y is equal to two. So you will get h plus k minus two is equal to zero. One, two, and three. See what I'm going to do now is subtract one and two. So first equation minus second equation. What are you going to get? Directly tell me. H square, H square cancel. K square, K square cancel. So you will have two H plus twelve K. Plus twelve k minus seventeen. Yes. Minus seventeen is equal to zero. Let this be four. So if you solve three and four, you will get h and k. Once you get h and k, substitute it in either one or two, you will get the value of r. Once you get everything, substitute it back in the equation that you have considered. 
okay so for now solve 3 and 4 and tell me We got h equal to seven by ten and k equal to thirteen by ten. H is how much? Seven by ten, no? Yes, sir. K is um, thirteen by ten. Okay. Take this and substitute it in either one or two, and tell me what the value of R. So what are the value of R guys? I got um, R equal to root of one two five eight by ten. One two five eight by ten, huh? Yes. Sir. This is such a big number. Uh, no, sir. It's actually only root over one two five eight. Ten is not having a root. Okay. Let me check. Forty nine by hundred plus one sixty nine by hundred. Minus forty-two by ten, minus thirteen eighths is twenty-four. One out four, right? One out four divided by ten plus twenty-five minus R square, right? So four twenty by hundred, one zero four zero by hundred, two thousand five hundred divided by hundred. So forty-nine plus one sixty-nine. How much is it? Two hundred and eighty. So two five double zero plus. You did all these things. You are getting one two five eight by ten now. Then what will be the required equation? Root of one two five eight by ten. Yeah. So required equation of circle will be x minus seven by ten the whole square plus. Y minus thirteen by ten. 
whole square is equal to 1 to 5 8 divided by 10. But such a big value. It should be 1 to 5 8 by 100, sir, then. Otherwise, root of 1 to 5 8 by 10 the whole square. Is this what you're saying? Yes, sir. Okay. So this should have been the answer. Okay. So the other way to solve this is alternate way. Let equation of circle B, instead of taking AX square plus AY square, you can take A and B as uh, a, uh, sorry, you can take A as 1. You can take x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. Substitute the points and then you can solve it. Okay. When you take it like this, the center will be minus g comma minus n. Let's do another problem in this way. So you understood the first method, right? Now see. Find the equation of circle passing through the point 4, 1, 6, 5 and whose center is 4x plus y is equal to 16. The solution is, let equation of circle be, what can we take? x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0, where the center is minus g, minus f, radius is root of g square plus f square minus c. Now let's find out. Since circle passes through 4, 1, what can we write? So substitute 4, 1 in this, you will get 16 plus 1 plus 8g plus 2y plus c is equal to 0. So 8g plus 17. 2f. 8g plus 2f plus c minus 17 is equal to 0. Plus 17. So let this be 1. So it passes through what other point? Passes through 6, 5. Similarly, find an equation and tell me. How much are you getting, guys? 36 plus 25 plus 12g plus 10f plus c is equal to 0. So 12g plus 10f plus c plus 36 plus 25, 50, 60, 61 is equal to 0. Right? Since center lies on 4x plus y is equal to 16, implies minus 4g minus f is equal to 16. Because the center is minus g comma minus f, right? So 4g plus f minus 16 plus 16 is equal to 0. Let this be 3. Again, follow the same procedure. 1 minus 2, c will get eliminated. 
solve uh, so 1 minus 2 call it as 4 solve 3 and 4 you will get g and f substitute it back you will get c then substitute it back in the original equation so what i'm saying is 1 minus 2 is what or we'll do 2 minus 1 4g plus 8f plus 61 minus 17 40 is divisible by 4. So g plus 2f plus 11 is equal to 0. Let this be 4. Solve 3 and 4 and tell me what is the answer. Three G minus F minus five, sir. Sorry, I didn't get it. G is how much? Three G minus F minus five. Where? Did I make any mistake? So I got G equal to minus three. Sir, minus three. Negative. Yeah, G is equal to minus three. F is equal to. Minus four, I think, sir. G F is minus four, huh? Minus. So minus minus three comma minus four. So using in either one or two, it's up to you. I suggest use it in one because the numbers are small. So using in one, you will get the value of C. So tell me what is the value of C. Thirteen, So these are the two ways to solve the problems. Whichever is easy for you, you can go with it. Okay, whichever you are comfortable, you can solve. But both should generate the same answer. Okay, sir. Okay. So, yeah, that's it. There are five more problems which we will complete it tomorrow. With that, circles will be over. Then we'll go to ellipse. I think it is parabola second. So we'll go to parabola. Then we'll go to ellipse. Okay. So any other doubt from today's class? No, sir. No, sir. So wait. Don't leave.